Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking a quick look at a game called Blanco The Color of Adventure. So this game was sent to me by a good friend of mine. I wasn't really sure what to expect of it. It has 90% positive reviews, but there's only 23, and this game came out a little bit over a year ago, a year and two months ago. Uh, so it's quite surprising, but this game is still in early access, and it only costs a dollar currently, or a dollar and 20 cents. It's 40% off, normally it costs two dollars. So let's check it out. As each of us grow up, we embark on a journey. A journey to find our color. Hmm, I'm liking the graphics so far. Most are assigned one by their name. I was named Blue, so I went to find Blue. But I've decided to give you your own choice this time around. Blanco. You shall embark on this quest tomorrow. Be safe, and always remember to come back if you need anything. Alright, kind of a short and sweet little intro there. Uh, I think Blanco means white, the color white in Spanish, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Kind of like a... Kind of gives a super, like a Mario, Super Mario type vibe to it, in like a voxelized world. Waking up. Woo. Oh yeah, it definitely reminds me of Mario. <laughs> Loving the music so far. Alright, so here's the first world. This music... I don't know, it gives me like... Kind of reminds me of, like, the Sonic soundtrack. What the heck is that guy doing? Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, let's read the sign. Press Y to create a platform. Alright, oops. Messed that up. Try that again. Ah. <laughs> Alright, I'm try trying to do a double jump. There we go. Oh man, I messed up. Right, let's try it. I think we can make a platform anywhere. I'm gonna try to jump back the platform. There we go. Much easier. Alright, got a bomb. Press B to use the bombs. Nice. So I believe there's a shop on the overworld map, so I'm gonna go ahead and collect all these coins. I believe if I go over here, I could destroy these things too and get a couple more coins. Yep. Hooray! So, a bunch of collectibles. Reminds me so much of Mario. <laughs> the soundtrack, though, reminds me more of, like, Sonic. Or maybe a little bit of, like... I don't know. I feel like I've heard this, like, song before. Alright, so it looks like there's a gate over there. Let's see if we can go in the house. Oh, nope. <laughs> Remember there was one level in like uh, Mario 64 where you go into the house, it was like in the ice world. You go through the chimney and there's like a cool little uh, like sled map. Or like a uh, sliding section. Okay, I think what I need to do is I need to go back. I need to step on this. And this will allow me to create a platform up here. There we go. Press the button. Opens the gate. And on to the next section. I don't think the bombs hurt me. Nice. Alright, so I can do a little lunge. That's kind of cool. Okay. So I wonder what the best way to do this would be. I think if I jump off, maybe maybe I can jump off down here actually. I need to create it like a platform in midair. Whoa. Oh come on. Oh man. Ah oh, crap. <laughs> Went in the water. I think I just get respawned, yep. Alright, so this time 
I think I'm going to go a little higher onto the house. Oh wait, forgot, I need to get this. Camera angle is a little bit close at times. Definitely reminds me of like Mario 64 or uh, Mario Sunshine um, with the camera. Cause you have to like zoom out the camera. All right, I don't know, this is like a hard jump. No, oh, shoot. <laughs> I think I jumped too early. I don't really like the jumping mechanics. It's not as uh, fluid as I would like it to be. But I think there's a way to make that jump, so we'll keep trying. Alright. So otherwise, I don't know if there's another way to get across. Hopefully I don't get stuck on the first level. That would really suck. Okay. Let me just try jumping. Oops. There we go. That's much easier. What? And they just fell off, I guess. I thought the bomb would uh, kill them. Kind of a strange controls. It is an early access still, but it is quite odd. It's trying to be different. Like, I can give it props for that. But at the same time, when it looks so much like Mario, you would expect it to uh, control like Mario as well. Oops. Okay. Guess I'm going up here. Don't know where I'm going. You can also kick. Although, it's kind of hard to tell that you're kicking because your legs are just like little sticks. Your body is like bigger than your arms and legs, like way too big. Alright. I'm not sure where I'm going. Am I supposed to be collecting these like red coins? Alright, I think I'll just go up. So far, there's like no real objective. Actually, when we go back down, you're supposed to read the signs. The signs kind of give you hints. Uh, platform power up. Yeah. Oops. Alright. Man, see this camera angle? These camera angles are strange. Alright. And it does say that if you, if you decide to play this game, it does say that you do need to play with a the controller. There we go. I honestly feel like every PC gamer should have like an Xbox One controller laying around. I play with like a wireless one and it's amazing for uh, games like this. So I'm just gonna be like avoiding all these characters, all these uh, creatures. There's really no need to fight them, I don't think. But here's the uh, end, I think. It's in the level. You got a super gym. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. So I have two super gyms now, so now I can go on to the next area. Very, very similar to Mario. I love the music. The soundtrack is really, really good. Oh. Not mean to do that. All right. Oh, I don't have bombs anymore. So every level you have to collect your abilities. It's interesting. What does it say? It said something like your kick can be used to break down wooden objects. Oh. Bombs. Yes, got bombs. Fantastic soundtrack. I I'm really enjoying the soundtrack. It's one of those games where like the soundtrack like overshadows the game. Get out of here. strange. Like a secret area.
I'm not gonna worry about picking up the coins. I'm just gonna worry about uh, completing the level. These type of games, like, if I weren't, like, recording, I would be, uh, like, picking up everything. Oh, shoot. God dang it. Controls are very stiff when jumping. Alright, I don't really understand how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, I can wall bounce, okay. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Maybe I should, hmm, I'm kind of, uh, wondering how to do this. You can't, like, jump diagonally, which is sort of odd. So I'm wondering if I'm just supposed to jump straight up, or maybe I could just do this. That makes more sense, okay. <laughs> Really cool game for a dollar. I mean, this is pretty interesting. All right, so there's another gate. Might have to go down here. Let's see, there's a, another wall. All right, gate's open. There's also another like uh, wooden thing here, so we'll break it. Thought maybe we could find something. Oh no, no! Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Alright. I have to retry that. Yeah, I hate this. Got it, okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know, the jumping, it's kind of hard to do the double jump. I'm not really sure what that thing on the right is. Oh well, Looks like, like an extra life or something. We'll just skip it. Oh, in the level, sweet. Pick up the coins first. You got a super gem. Alright, so I believe there's some sort of shop over here. Maybe in, in here? And I think you can spend your coins to buy things. Coming soon. Oh, it's coming soon. What is this? I don't know what that is. Top hat, duck hat, wizard hat. All right, so you can buy hats. Anything else? Ready to build the second floor now. It should be ready soon. Coming soon. Oh, like a jukebox coming soon? All right, so this, is, this game is definitely in early access. Um, this guy is like taking a rest. Alright, so it's kind of cool. You can buy hats. Maybe you can buy other things later on. Okay, so I think I'm going to play possibly one more level. Wait. I've already done that stage, if I'm not mistaken. I think, anyway. Wait, what's, what's over here? Hold on. This is like a level, but I'm not sure if it's an actual level or if it's something else. What is this? X20. Oh, so apparently if you collect 20 of those little cards, you can unlock something in here. Probably like a secret, like, bonus area. 
All right, so I'm gonna go back and let's go to the third world. Which is here. Ooh. Can I make that jump? Barely. Lots of platforming sections, that's for sure. Oh, gotta get the bomb. Oh no! Dang it. <laughs> uh, this is why I don't like um, 3D platformers that have like stiff jumping controls. I, I hate things like this. It reminds me of the PlayStation 1 era. There used to be all sorts of these platformers, and they were all terrible. Like, in 64 as well. And, like, every time you miss one of these jumps, it's just like, ah, because it's, it's not really your fault. It's, it's just the game's controls. Oh well. But at least this game doesn't, like, punish you for it. Other games, you'd, like, lose a life or you'd fail the mission. This game seems to be very forgiving. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go down or up. There's some coins down there. Coins are... seem to be worthless at the moment. Let me just jump over this. There we go. Oh no! Aw oh, man, it sends you back to the very beginning when you die. Alright, never mind it being generous. This game is freaking tough. But yeah, if you guys were curious, this game controls very similarly to like the N64 or the GameCube, where you have to like turn the camera every everywhere you go. Can't see. Ah, god dang it! I swear, this game is going to drive me insane. And I just glitched under the map. I just glitched out of the map. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I die? Okay, there we go. You guys were not supposed to see that. Pretend like that never happened. I'm gonna focus, and we're gonna get through this. Ouch. Got you. Reminds me so much of Mario 64. Oh, no! <laughs> Ouch. I wonder if you can die. I'm not even sure if you can die. Moving platforms. Where the heck am I going? Climbing a castle. I bet you anything there's something over there, but I'm not gonna risk that. Oh, maybe I am supposed to go that way. See? I don't like that I can't turn around instantly. I can't, like, I can't kick this thing. There we go. Okay, so this, I guess it's the wrong way. So I'm supposed to go that way? Kidding. And if I miss that jump, it's over. Hmm. I'm not liking this at all. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I think I can make it. No, 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 no. Wait, I did land though, okay. And then I died and had to restart the level. All right, I think I'm gonna put this game down for now just because this level especially is getting me like pretty frustrated. Uh, but this game still is in early access. It's a pretty good game for a dollar. I would have to say that. Like, um, if you are like fans of like retro games, um, oh, it's a jump pad. Okay, uh, you might really enjoy this if you want like sort of a Mario type feel, like a Mario 64 type vibe. Uh, this game isn't half bad. You do need a controller. Make sure you guys buy a controller because this game would be like ten times worse with uh, keyboard controls. Uh, but besides that, it's fairly um, it's fairly good. The soundtrack is pretty awesome. I would uh, probably uh, recommend the soundtrack over the game itself. Uh, but hopefully once it gets out of early access, the uh, controls will be a little bit more refined. Uh, I would suggest to the developer to make the jumping controls a little bit more smooth. I guess so you can jump in like multiple directions and like turn around instantly instead of having to spin all the way around because it kind of screws you over. Um, hmm. Actually, I think I'll try this one more time. And then if I can't do it, then the video is going to be over. Wait. <laughs> what the heck is the moving platform? I have to wait for it. Oh, there we go. I did notice there's, yeah, there's a collectible thing there. So I wonder if there's a way to, like, double jump? No. If you double jump, you do, like, a ground pound, so you can't, like, uh, lunge. So I'm really curious if I'm even supposed to go that way. I think I am supposed to double jump, but I have to like do it perfectly, which is crazy. I have to like count the tiles. All right, that would have been perfect. Oh, I did it! That was the luckiest jump ever, and I died. Screw this game. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, but again, this game is called uh, Blanco. Uh, something something. Um, I already forgot what the game was called. Uh, Blanco, The Color of Adventure. It's an early access. It's a dollar twenty currently, dollar nineteen. Uh, so if you guys want to check it out on Steam, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.